Welcome everyone. My name is Annie. This is TechRage and today I'm going to teach you how to install Spotify for Linux. So uh, this Spotify installation will work with many Ubuntu based distributions as well as Debian based distributions. So meaning, uh, let me give you some quick lineage. Let me give you a brief uh, history on the lineage of uh, being based on what uh, so Debian is like the OG in Linux distributions, uh, it's still being used today, and uh, Ubuntu is based on Debian, Debian the distribution, and uh, yeah, so then there are other distributions that are based off of Ubuntu, they use a lot of the core features from Ubuntu, such as the Ubuntu store, and so on and so forth, as well as other functionalities and underlinings, so... <laughs> Uh, yeah, so pretty much any Debian and Ubuntu based OS will work with this Spotify installation. So first things first, open up your browser. Preferably I use Firefox, go open source. <laughs> um, yeah, so do a quick search, type in Spotify for Linux and this will be the very first link that you come across. Uh, click it it'll be under the Spotify's website you'll find it right here to be specific spotify.com slash us slash download slash Linux so if you go there you will come across this page and here are the lines in which you will copy and paste into your terminal to download Spotify all right, so uh, like I said, this is based on Debian. Well, this is supported for Debian and Ubuntu. Uh, uh huh. And yeah, our aim is that it should work with the latest long-term support release of Ubuntu. So any LTS versions of Ubuntu it should work for so that would be 16.04 LTS as of now that I'm making this video uh, but however and take note of this it says here however this version is not is unsupported meaning the Spotify version for Linux is not actively supported so for bugs uh, any sort of yeah, any sort of issue of like that, uh, there aren't really on the spot developers right to fix it, you know, and the update's gonna be released the next day. Unfortunately, it's like this. Uh, don't really know why, but personally, I haven't come across any issue with Spotify on Linux. I have used it on many distributions, whether it's Zorn OS, Elementary OS, uh, right now I'm using GNOME 3, Ubuntu, uh, and it works just fine here. I use it on Linux Mint. Um, I've used it on quite a few distributions and I've come across no sort of performance issues. So it does exactly what it should do. Aesthetically, looks good, if that matters to you. Um, yeah, and it's honestly a really good uh, Spotify client. I really don't see any issues with it. Uh, you guys should definitely check it out if you're doubting it. So, uh, so once you go about doing this, you'll see here, you'll have to do is first things first do not copy this line you want to copy underneath these are simply comments so copy and paste into the terminal as well as these three lines as well but I'm going to show you a faster way of doing this now I'm going to open up my notepad here so what you'll do is copy the first line that's here paste it into your uh, note taking application for me it's gedit I use it a lot. It's pretty nice, lightweight. So what I do is first paste the first line, then put two and percents. So space, then two and percents, followed by another space. So for those people who aren't programmers or who don't really know much of programming, uh, what and percents are in uh, many languages, uh, if not all, that uh, what it does is that it executes the first command or the first statement followed by the statement placed after 
the two ampersands. So the way that this is read is sudo execute this, access this, and followed by whichever statement I put afterwards. Okay, so just, uh, you know, later note. Keep that in mind. So this would be useful. Say you're trying to do two updates, or you're trying to, you know, go about installing a, a little program. You know, uh, if you want to do to an upgrade and an update at the same time, you can do that as well. Note: sometimes you won't be able to do that, and Bash will tell you that you won't be able to do the two commands at the same time. Uh, I don't really know why exactly, but from what I can assume. It's that um, based on if it's a really long upgrade or download, or if it kind of, uh, you know, it, if it, um, how do I say, if it, um, if it's trying to update an application, if it's trying to upgrade an application followed by an update, but uh, it really depends on resources. If it's trying to, up, you know, do one, do both of those for the same thing. And uh, yeah, it'll kind of you know do based on resources that uh, it won't be able to properly execute it. And uh, yeah, you know just to know a few things about the background. I uh, don't really know why exactly. If uh, someone can probably provide us, provide me, an answer below in the comment section, that would be great. Uh, you know, more knowledge is better. So uh, enough of me talking. <laughs> so after this. You're going to copy the rest, copy this here, followed by two ampersands, and then this as well, followed by two ampersands, followed by then this, and then an, and then that's it. You won't put an ampersand after this because you're not doing anything else afterwards. So, like so, like this. Now, like this, yeah, you see, I already put them down. Okay, so that's it. Now, it's time to click enter. Wait, I'm an idiot. Open up your terminal. Paste. And there you go. So now it's executing every single command that you had told it to do. It's doing it. Now, the process was a bit fast for me only because I already have it installed. But uh, I processed it anyways. I understood that it was there. Yeah. See, Spotify Clan is already the newest version because I already have it installed. Zero upgrades, zero newly installed. And here you go. This is exactly how it would look like. Uh, like I said, guys, I haven't come across any issues. There's really no difference in UI. It's very modern. Looks exactly like the one that looked like that looks like on Windows as well as Mac. Uh, so yeah, so you put in your username, password, and I will show you how it looks right now. And there you go. So it took less than a minute for it to load, find my profile, and voila. Yeah, like I said, guys, it looks exactly like the one. So Windows performs really well, had no issues with it, uh, yeah, new releases, genres, uh, there's no sort of issues with cover art, loading cover art, it's all really the same, works really well, yeah, yeah so I'd highly recommend it, use the free version, uh, for those who are students in college, now this also depends on if I remember correctly, if the if that college is registered on Spotify's uh, library, uh, you can actually get uh, fifty percent off, I believe, for the subscription. Now it's been about a year since I since I last used Spotify and I paid for the subscription, uh, but this is a yearly subscription. Subscription, if I remember correctly, um, you'll have to go to their website and search for Spotify Student. So, let me this up really quickly for you. Yep, Spotify student. So just type in Spotify student in your Google search, and it'll be right here. See, only $5 for students. Now that's freaking awesome. Right, for premium, you get all the features that comes with it, so you're paying half the price. Uh, all you have to do is put in your student email, and then it will let you know if you're, uh, if you're able to use their their discount 
Now, uh, with that discount, and they don't let you know, so you'll have to keep this in mind, and I would highly suggest you putting this on your calendar app. So if you use Google Calendars, put that on Google Calendars. Um, it will not remind you when the new paid cycle, pay cycle comes uh, the next year, it will not remind you to renew your student account. What it will do instead is that it will charge you the regular amount. So that would be $10, $10, $11. All right, so keep this in mind. A week in advance, make sure you go back to the website and you have to, and you have to reapply. Yeah, to, to put in your account, making sure that they know that you're still a student. And um, once you get verified, you'll pay $5 again for uh, the next year, for every month. So just keep that in mind, guys. Uh, quick tip, you know, if you can keep things cheap or even free, and it works, why not? Uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. So leave any comments below. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them as best as I could. Uh, if you could provide any sort of answers, that would be great, too, uh, on any of the questions that I had. Um, you know, definitely, if you could share the knowledge, then why not? You know, we're all here to learn. We're all human beings. And... Um, yeah <laughs> all right guys so have a good day uh this is danny welcome to tech rage